Hello everyone, we are going to review Nightmare in Silver, aren't we Sammy? Now, Nightmare in Silver, this episode was written by Neil Gaiman, who wrote probably the best episode of Series 6, The Doctor's Wife, which was episode 4 I believe. Now, that episode was a big success, like really successful. So, with this one, I wasn't expecting it to be better. And I'm glad that I didn't expect it to be better than that. Because a lot of people had really high expectations for this episode. And, well, it, with some people it really did fail to deliver. And they just thought it was a really average episode. But I kind of went in with not low expectations, but kind of lower expectations than some other people. And I really enjoyed it. There were... a Neil Gaiman is a fantastic writer. I think he knows Doctor Who. He is the best Doctor Who writer ever. <laughs> you know, he's just fantastic. I think the Cybermen in this episode were fantastic. I really love them now. Like, just, they're intelligent, you know? They, like, because, like, then trying to deactivate them with the pulse at the back of their head. Like, they cleverly take their heads off and, like, trick them, take their hands off and they run like so fast that everyone's like ten times slower so look really good. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it and I thought the cast like some of the supporting people they weren't amazing because they didn't really do that much and they weren't even called by name. Um I thought Warwick Davis was very good as Porridge and of course I knew his name was Porridge and um it, I wondered I just it suddenly came to me that I'd never had porridge before. So I decided to buy some porridge and make it. This is for Warwick Davis. Yep. Now we have the porridge. <laughs> Oops. It's quite nice. I like rice pudding. Oh, that's really nice. Yummy. So yeah, that was me with porridge. <laughs> that one's for you, Warwick. Right, um... But yeah, I thought he was good. I mean, he didn't really do loads. I mean, he wasn't a standout. Wow, he was really good. But he's such a good actor, and he was likeable. He was, he was, he was alright, yeah. I thought um, the Doctor, like, being controlled by the Cybermen for the first ever time, um, and he had the Cyber Planner slash Mr. Clever, I think it was, in his head, and, like, battling for supremacy, like, for his mind. So that I like that. It's I always love episodes when the Doctor's evil. It's always nice. Like, that's what I was looking forward to um, with the Ganger episode, because I was expecting the clone to be evil. But, no, that didn't happen. So, But I did like that too, Carter. I thought Clara was very good in this. She she was very dumb. She was very in control in this episode. Very good. And, uh, you are right, Sammy? He's... No, I think I should let you review the episode, shouldn't I? But go ahead. Camera's there. Go on. No. Well, he might be, just telepathically. Right, um... What else did I like? What else did I like? Um, liked porridge and the porridge that I ate. Um, I like this episode overall, but one thing that I didn't like, which a lot of people didn't like, were the children. <laughs> Angie and Artie. Now, for the Crimson Horror ending, when they were going, oh, you're a time trap, I didn't mind that. thought they were alright. <sighs> but Angie. Ooh, I want to punch her so much she's so horrible if i got the chance to go in a time machine i'd be i wouldn't be going this time this tardis is rubbish it's a load of rubbish and like she's so moody for no reason she's nasty to everyone and uh, she's horrible and artie was all right but didn't add anything all he did was oh i've decided i really like the moon I liked that. That was very fun. 
Ha ha ha, that was fun, Doctor. Thank you. And that's all he did, really. And he got captured. I just don't understand why they were in it. I mean, I didn't mind them in Bells of St John because they were hardly in it and not enough to care whether you liked them or not. But, oh, you get, you're off, Sammy. You're off. Right. Woo! Right. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, they weren't good at all. It's just me now. Hello. Ugh. But, yeah, they, they weren't good. Not at all. And I just don't see the point of them being there. I mean, they added nothing to the story. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, what was the point of them being there? There was no reason. Ugh, annoyed me. But, the next time trailer for Name of the Doctor is good. That looks good. Strax looks like he's been shot by Vastra. That's worrying. I do like Strax. Hell, Strax is my phone wallpaper. You can see that? There you go. Ha ha! Yeah, good old Strax. So overall, I give Nightmare in Silver an 8 out of 10. Now, the next review for Name of the Doctor will be a bit late because I'm going camping, which is really annoying me because we're going to find out who Clara is, we're going to find out the Doctor's greatest secret, River has escaped the library, it's post, it's post um, the Forest of the Dead 2 part, so that will be interesting. So if she survives this episode, does that mean we keep seeing her in order from now on? Who knows? So, oh, it's really annoying me, and it's hopefully it might be leading into the 50th. And in the next time trailer, it showed Bessie, which is awesome. Uh, and next week I'm going to have to go back in time loads. And at least I know that I'm not going to crop up any more in any other review like this one. Yes, and I did it for the Nightmare in Silver. went back in time. Sorry. Go away! Come on, I have to stop like creating a paradox. Right, bye. Sorry. <sighs> Spoke too soon.